I grew up between Sanishton and Brentwood Bay, and I went to elementary school, high school, middle school, all in the same area. Just, I think of playing street hockey on my, my road that I grew up on, just kind of always playing hockey with the same people every few years, and it was really tight-knit. Parents supporting us in that, and I felt a lot of support from my community growing up there. Mike is the youngest of four, and she really loved sports, any kind of sports. She played boys hockey, and uh, Micah's philosophy was, I'm just a hockey player. I don't have to be a boy or a girl, really, I'm just a hockey player. She was a defenseman, so her job was to protect the net, and that's, she took that very seriously. And a win was just being out on the ice. Growing up in, you know, both hockey, baseball, whatever she did, she was always really thriving and succeeding in what she did. I always knew that she had potential for greatness, like from a young age, you know, middle school, high school. Um, she was always excelling. You know, growing up, I, we didn't win a lot of hockey games in the association that I was from. Um, but I think that taught me a lot. It, instilled in me like a, great, a pretty strong work ethic, not focusing too much on the result, but just working on getting better and trying to be the best I can for whether it's my team or my school or my family or my community. I'm just trying to make the environment better and one that people want to show up to every day. Um, I think that's kind of two things that I got from my community that shaped who I am today. I coached, you know, thousands of players through, but with Micah, her work ethic is beyond anybody I've ever trained and I've coached some been lucky enough to coach some really high level athletes and Micah is right up there as far as her work ethic and just her curiosity to be better. Wearing the maple leaf on her jersey is it's breathtaking. It's the pride, the tears and everything coming from being a Canadian. Never more important than when you put the jersey on. It inspiring and it just puts a huge, huge smile on my face to see her succeeding She's exactly, you know, where she has worked to be and what she loves doing. And that just makes me so happy. My mom sacrificed a crazy amount of things to get me where I am today. And, you know, always also taught us that sport wasn't everything. It was a lot about just being a good person and a good member of your community. And then my three older siblings, they're quite a bit older than me. So it was kind of like having three other parents in the house as well. They supported me and pushed me to be better. And most importantly, molded me into who I am today.